Ready. Ready. Good. All right, early round action here as we get a look at Jamal Sweet Dreams Hill. And Jamal Hill just speaks to the overwhelming depth in the light heavyweight top 10 right now. A lot of folks wonder when John Jones was out of this division, what would the future look like? It looks like Jamal Hill. A lot of people believe this striking game is such that he could be the next UFC light heavyweight champion. Not sure if there was a gentleman's agreement for no feeling out. They are getting after it right out of the shoot. No feeling out process. These guys are here to end this fight quickly. Oh! Body shot. Alex Pereira gets stung there by that stiff jab. Switch knee lands to their body. Man, these knees are really starting to... Hill gets the double leg takedown. Nothing telegraphed about that shot. Well done. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now. Because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Oh! Just over three minutes to go round one. Oh, big elbow. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Starting to open up a little bit. Sweet Dreams Hills now dealing with a cheat cut. I'm looking to set up that right hand. Stay sharp. He checked that last one. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. That's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Works the body once again. He gets in the second collar time. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Right on the button. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the field. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. All right, so Alex Pineda getting it done with his striking as usual, realizing success low with the kicks and certainly up top with the hands. John, whenever you accomplish all that he accomplished in kickboxing, you expect him to be a high-level striker. But the way that he has adapted his style to mixed martial arts really should be commended. He isn't just fighting as a kickboxer anymore. He is competing as a mixed martial artist, and he has found a ton of success, and most of that is due to his striking, as you would expect. But it is bleeding from the mouth, Daniel. Looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Leg kick now. He's starting to pile those up. Look at the stats. Oh, nice body shot. What a great job using the offhand to dictate the pace of the fight. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. All right, well, if you like blood, perhaps this is the fight for you. That cut is really starting to open up wide now. It's starting to open up, but it doesn't seem to be affecting him too bad right now. It's still bloody, but it's not really limiting his, his ability to continue. Let's see if he can get through this and win this fight. That horn sounds means we have reached the 
the end of round one. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, let us show you all that was done in terms of the damage in that previous round. He has got a huge gash on his cheek. I mean, there was that shot right there. That one landed and opened him up. What a nasty combination thrown by his opponent, but this cut now is another issue to deal with. He's got one of the best fighters in front of him, and he's dealing with this cut on the cheek. Round two here. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys going to kick and sink at each other. But you did see time when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Well, the calf kick has effectively changed the game, and I'm not sure he wants to take too many more of those. Well, you might consider switching stances or something to try to eliminate that attack from coming in his direction. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Pereira. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes. And oh! oh, my goodness! Back to the feet now. Oh! Massive kick to the head. That one appeared to stun him. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. He is going after that overhand right. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Hill's eye starting to swell now. Actually, the strike lands, but my, my children hit hard. Yeah, at this point, early in the fight, you saw his opponent's head snapping back. You could see the effect the punches were taking. Now, looks like it did stun him a little bit. Another one! Oh man, he's still targeting that cut, and it is getting worse by the minute. That's good defense to block that punch. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Sweet Dreams Hill's really having a hard time putting weight on that leg now. You can see the obvious limp, and a lot of that is... Oh! oh, big knee! Now he's backed up. No, oh, big left. There it is again. Look at that. That is it! Alex Pereira takes the judges out of it, gets the finish. Make the bad man stop. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight. And the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault. A flurry of punches, most of them upstairs. And when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. All right, now we go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's going to stop in this contest at three minutes, 10 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC right 
heavyweight champion of the world, Alex Hoatai All right, so another highlight for the real, Alex Pereira, your winner by TKO. He got him hurt, and when he found his moment, he jumped on him, got the finish. Generally, he puts your lights out. This time, you have to do a little extra work, but once again, Alex Pereira wins by stoppage.